The pursuit of the American dream has brought people to our city from all over the world for generations. And regardless of how you define it, one thing's for sure, achieving it is never easy. Fox Eye's Stephanie Bertini talked to a family who came here from Venezuela in search of a better life as part of our ongoing series, Migrants in America. This young family calls the Rowe Hotel home for now. 53, he says, explaining how many days they have left until they have to leave. A little worried, he tells us, as he thinks about all the uncertainty they're facing. But as he thinks about the long term, all you see is hope. My future, good things for my children, stability and tranquility, he says. The children, six and three years old, were with him and his wife as they left Venezuela a nation in the midst of a humanitarian crisis and made the illegal journey into the United States. I got out of Venezuela from Colombia, he says, telling us they went through eight countries before crossing the U.S.-Mexico border. Into Texas. Touching American soil was the goal, he explains, but the destination was always New York City, where they arrived in a bus, like so many other asylum seekers. New York, I will explain explain it to you. Us immigrants, many of us, we come here for stability for our children. Here, we hear they will help us. City officials say almost 150,000 asylum seekers have come to New York City seeking shelter since last spring. Each week, the number goes up as the city is in the midst of a migrant crisis. Resources are at capacity. The Rowe Hotel is one of more than 200 emergency shelters established by New York City for migrants. But the demand is so great, restrictions are now in effect, putting limits on shelter stays. We met this family shortly after they were given a 60-day notice to vacate after living in the hotel for months. It's a little stressful, he says. It is faith, determination, and the push for a better life that fuels migrants and asylum seekers to fight for what so many of them explain in one short phrase. The American dream, he says. But now that he's here, he tells us he understands how complicated that American dream can be. I am waiting for the work papers, he says. Immigration matters take time. The family has applied for asylum like many Venezuelans do. Right now, they're waiting on a decision from the federal government that will determine the rest of their lives. In Venezuela, poverty, corruption and danger is reality. When you have two young children, it feels like a death sentence, he says. I think in America, the stability, it's very tranquil. Tranquility and stability is worth everything when you're from a society that's in the midst of a humanitarian crisis. So even though they can't work and don't know where they will be living when the 60 days is up, for them, this is worth it. The situation we are going through, he says, it's all for his boys to have the kind of childhood he never knew in a country where they can grow up to be whatever they have the potential to be. Stephanie Bertini, Fox 5 News.